Hello, this is uh, Buck News, and today we're going to talk about Deborah Lee and her new book and what she's been, you know, going around saying about incidents in her new book um, in relationship to BT. BT is Black Entertainment Television, and Deborah Lee was a former uh, CEO for BT for, I guess, 11 to 12 years. Prior to that, the CEO was known as was known was uh, Bob Johnson, um, and Bob Johnson used to be married to Sheila Johnson, um, who was currently his ex-wife. And when BET was sold, they split the um, for three billion. They split the uh, money, or the money was split after a divorce. Um, in that aspect, not necessary due to the BET being sold, but due to the divorce. Um, so Deborah Lee's going around admitting that she did have a relationship with Bob Johnson. Uh, both the two were married at the time. Uh, Deborah Lee got a divorce from her husband and then um, I guess Bob and Sheila got a divorce. Allegedly due to this relationship. We, we don't know. Um, <clears throat> but you know, after the divorce, I guess, you know, it could be more public with the relationship. And um, during that time or a period of time, Lee felt the relationship was, was not going anywhere. And by that, we can estimate that going anywhere, anywhere allegedly means that Bob wasn't going to marry Deborah. You know, um, <clears throat> John, Bob Johnson, Lee. Um, was a great uh, influence on Lee's career and moving up the corporate ladder and I think she admitted to this he, uh, he she was in you know various positions and then Lee although Lee is brand wise brand wise is well educated so what I mean by this is she um, went to Harvard and also has a, a undergrad, and I think she also uh, has a uh, Ivy League law degree. And Bob Johnson, I think he has a law degree too. Um, and, um, so she still would have had opportunities. I mean, just based off, like I said, the brand of, of having a law degree from Ivy League school, she still would have had opportunities. Um, but she may not have had the lifestyle with those opportunities of course as you know BT grew and grew and grew and I'm pretty sure you know the bonuses and the lifestyle that came with BT which she wouldn't have so meeting all these stars and you know all these things um, which probably allegedly led her to just keep her mouth shut so um, what ended up happening was you know like she said she saw the racism go, was not going anywhere and she she told Bob Johnson, and then he told her that, well, you know, if you're going to break up with me or whatever, you know, feel my needs or whatever, you can um, pack your bags today. Now, we don't know what the outcome would have been had she packed her bags, but I'm, she, the only thing she probably would, like I said, she might have took a pay cut and I had the lifestyle. Uh, and things like that. She, because she said that she was worried that she wouldn't be able to find a, another job. I mean, you know, you got a law degree, you can just be a, a public, public, what is it, public defendant? I mean, come on. And it's just my personal opinion. I, I could be wrong. But like I said, it's the lifestyle part of this that maybe she didn't want to turn away. She, remember, she left. She divorced her husband. She had two kids. Probably was, you know, top-notch private schools, and, and you know. Well, just let's say private schools and, you know, she's probably living in a better part of town in D.C. Um, and so it was going to be a cut, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So it, this um, this is what that's why she just continued on the relationship. Now, as she said. During some of her interviews, she just just paraphrased. She basically said when she looked at, I guess, uh, you know, the Me Too movement, I think it was another movement. I guess she realized, this is the reason why she was divulging this information. I guess she realized that, you know, she 
was, in her opinion, was under duress. Best way I can describe it. Because he was in a, a higher power. He had control over her life, her income, and the direction of her career. And if she, and if she pulled away from the sex they were having, allegedly, or whatever their relationship was, uh, she would lose all that. And that's why she's talking about it now. Um, now, uh, we don't know how Bob Johnson's going to respond or, or things like that. I mean, he's not going to go to jail. He's, he, he's not even affiliated with BET anymore. Maybe in a, in a on the board sense, he and his wife. And, you know, he still probably have stock in, in, in not BET, but I'm sorry, right, Viacom. So, I mean, you know, this, that's maybe the only way both those individuals are affiliated with that. And Sheila Johnson, I mean, she's like part owner of Caps, part owner of um, Wizards, I think, part owner of uh, uh, the Mystics or full owner. And she's part of, I don't know the name of the um, entertainment group, but she's part of the entertainment group that owns all those teams. So, and then she also has um, hotels and resorts from my understanding. Um. So Sheila, now we don't know what was to date. I actually didn't do research to see what was in the reason for the divorce, or was that public or sealed? But um, many people for years were rumored that Deborah Lee and Bob Johnson were dating, and prior to that, they were dating when they were married, and then allegedly, and then also, um. This was the reason for the divorce speech. He and his ex-wife Sheila. Um, so she still eventually started to run BT, and um, I guess in the last few years she's you know stepped down. She's still probably you know influential in the, guess, corporate America as far as being on different boards because you know she she's run a company and things like that. Um, haven't gotten the book yet. Plan to look into it to see what other information she gave. She's given, and, and of course, you know, this is the selling point of the book. You give it a little bit of drama, and and then you describe the rest. But some people are saying, well, you know, why she? Some people are saying that she's crying victim, and <clears throat> you know, some people are not. So it's, it's kind of very, very complicated because. She, um, and one of the reason they say she's kind of crying victim is, um, I guess, just due to the fact, the nature of the relationship, uh, in that aspect, and the outcome. But what do you think about this? If you're familiar with the history of BT and and um, the influence that it had in uh, pop culture, especially hip hop culture, um. And, and then what was going on behind the scenes in that aspect. And then also, let's let's also add to this that before uh, BT was sold, BT was killing the competitors. They were starting to develop TV shows, news shows. They were becoming like a real network. And then they had um, a morning show, morning news. They had, um, uh, you know, of course, you know, Rap City and things like that. The video kind of changed. They started to do other, you know, types of shows but after they were sold all that went away so and then um because it was on the viacom so viacom you know probably restructured said we, we have video shows but we don't need them on every channel or whatever however the others was or whatever it will be but now they kind of you know have movies and things like that on bet it's not not like it used to be but they still don't have the the key element a new show but viacom probably has a new show somewhere else and the member of the new show was more uh african-american or um, you know, people of color focus. But what do you think? Do you think uh, this this situation changed BT a lot, or you know, it really doesn't matter? This is Bug News. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and if you choose to, send a cash app. Thank you very much.